From September 16 to 27, Europe's largest annual human rights and democracy conference, the Human Dimension Implementation Meeting of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, was held in Warsaw. Willy Fortre, president of Human Rights Without Frontiers, pointed out in his speech on September 20 that after Xi Jinping took office, an unprecedented level of persecution of all religions has been raging and escalating. The Church of Almighty God, CAG, has long been one of the most severely persecuted Chinese churches by the Chinese Communist government. He called on OSCE participating states to give serious and fair consideration to the asylum applications of Chinese religious refugees, including CAG Christians, and not to repatriate them. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. An unprecedented level of state repression against all religions and believers has been raging and escalating month after month in China since Xi Jinping has made sure he will be president for life. Believers belonging to mainline or well-known religions in China are usually granted political asylum when they come to Europe, but the world map of religions reveals an infinite diversity of belief systems, and people who are dear to non-mainline religions are also protected by the Universal Declaration. One of the most persecuted movements in China is the Church of Almighty God, which has several million members according to the Chinese authorities themselves. Our organization has a database of over 4,000 documented cases of religious prisoners in the world. More than 2,000 are Chinese believers of that church, and it is only the tip of the iceberg. As of the 1st of September of this year, over 2,300 believers of this church were looking for a safe haven in 15 European countries. Italy, Belgium, France, Germany and Switzerland were the countries who rejected the highest number of applications for asylum. If deported back to China, they would be arrested and imprisoned. We congratulate Canada, Finland and Sweden for their good practices on this issue, for their enlightened management of the applications for asylum introduced by people of that church fleeing religious persecution in China. We recommend that these three countries share their experience about this particular group with the delegations of the other participating states of the OSCE, including EU countries and Switzerland. We recommend, finally, that OSCE participating states give serious and fair consideration to religion-based asylum requests by Chinese refugees, including those from the Church of Almighty God, and that nobody should be deported without seriously evaluating the risks he or she would face in China, which may include incarceration, torture, and even death. Thank you for your attention.